What's up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm in a car, yet again. That explains the majority of my life, that I'm always in a car doing something. So, as much as I want to be a cute little vlogger, YouTuber kind of person that has a cute little backdrop, it's just not my lifestyle, it's always on the go. And I'm hardly ever home. That's just the reality. But today, I went to the ranch, and then I went to my favorite crystal shop in Ojai. I, I don't know why, I just always go there. I, I wanted, like, a big, nice crystal today, but honestly, I found... Did I really just lose it? It's this little crystal, and I really liked it because, if you can see, it's, like, transparent. It's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> but... <clears throat> It's crazy because I am an empath. I have known this for quite some time. I just didn't know what I was called. And now that I know it's an empath, it is, I can't explain how much that has been my life story. It's just like always really knowing people's intentions before they happen, knowing like what people are going to say before they say it knowing like what's happening when like I'm not even present like it's just crazy like I just I can't even explain it to you guys I'm just it's absolutely nuts and I could just go on and on about stories of where I can prove like how I just knew things but that's, that's another t story time but anyway I was just um doing a lot of research on it this past week and like really being like yeah okay are you and yes and then I picked up this little crystal which um <clears throat> goes along with empaths and tele tele <laughs> telepathy I was so yeah it's a crystal that truly has to do with what has been on my mind and that's why I find always so crazy I don't know if you could see like it through but yeah so I'm gonna eat my veggie burger real quick don't want to bore you guys with me eating because it's not a pretty sight to see and then I'll see where else the day takes us okay What's up guys? So I'm back at my house and I already showed you guys somewhat of my day but now I want to show you a little bit of my evening routine. My days, so my days are normally super super busy. When I get home I definitely like to take that time and really like chill out and like get back into like my creative mode to where like I'm thinking the best thoughts I'm really engaged with what's going on around me. I don't get trapped in feeling like I'm home so I can just do like absolutely nothing if that makes sense. Because when I get home, I become extremely lazy. <laughs> it is definitely hard for me to register that work and home can like go hand to hand and you can continue to work on yourself while at home. I just always feel like I need to be out and about doing things, but so when I come home, the newest thing I have really enjoyed doing is kundalini yoga and meditating. So I'll normally do some kundalini yoga to like really relax me and get me back in the zone. And then I'll go into a nice meditation either in the bath or right here. It's recently I've felt like I just needed to do it. Like my body has been super tight. I've been really wanting to work on my flexibility. So it's just something that I've been doing, but kundalini is a little calmer, it's just more so with the breath, like you breathe really intensely. And I like that because it keeps me so focused. Um, the way they breathe during that yoga is, I like it because my mind always has to be going. I can't really stop and like really like get into my mind. I'm more so thinking like, okay, I gotta breathe this way, I gotta breathe that way. So, yeah, I really like Kundalini Yoga, and then I'm going to meditate, and then we'll see if we have some things to talk about later. Okay. Okay.
was truly, truly tested today. Oh, the sun's coming back out. Yes. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's only 5.24. Oh, this is amazing. I thought it was so much later. Okay. Anyway. So, what I meant... So, okay. Today, I was truly, truly, truly tested, you guys. Like, beyond tested. I just got in... How do I explain the situation? I don't know how to explain the situation. But there's... My life is in transit right now. So when your life is in transit, it's like this, your life is half what it used to be and half the new life. And they clash sometimes. You're like, oh wow, this is part of my old life, but I'm also in my new life. And sometimes when you're in your new life and you go back to your old life, you feel like you're going backwards. But then sometimes when you're in your new life, you're realizing that like, your new life can also have your old life. And it's just trying to find this weird balance to be your new normal. And that's the transit I'm going through right now in my life. And this transit is a very difficult one because it's growing pains, ultimately. Like, you don't start, you don't stop. Like, people think once high school's over, like, you figure out your life and, like, it's easy and it gets easier and easier as time goes by. And then you have a career and then you have a fiance and then you're married and then you think it's just easy. And... That's the complete opposite. <laughs> I feel like it gets harder and harder and harder and harder. But it only gets harder when you don't grab tools on your way to an older age. And from my 17th birthday to my 21st birthday, I didn't grab any tools. I was just like in a dark room with no instructions and I had no, no idea where I was going. And every time I saw something with a good face on it, I would just say yes and do whatever it was without any direction whatsoever. I just, I would take on the weirdest jobs. I would just, I would just be doing so many different things. And I'd be like, okay, what are you doing? Like, where's your purpose? Where is your destination? And I just, that's it. I just didn't have a destination. And... I truly, truly wasted, okay, it's not wasted because maybe I can learn from it, but for me, it's valuable time that I could have been using to do more with my life that would have helped me out now. Not money-wise. Money-wise is whatever. Don't even get me started on the topic of money. I'm just talking about mental health because as time goes by, I'm realizing more and more and more of like how much you need that stuff to survive in this thing called life. Especially if we want to look at how many people are on antidepressants and medication and uh, how many people have attempted to commit suicide, how many people have committed suicide, like the amount of uh, the depression rate going on right now, like hold up, like, I'm not the only one feeling like this, I know a lot of us are feeling like this, and we just put on these fake smiles and take awesome Instagram pictures, and bada boom, bada bang, we are happy, when in actuality, we have some stuff going on, it's not even gonna lie, and the only stuff that I want going on in my future life is how I'm going to help others, how I'm going to put smiles on everyone around me, including myself, how I'm going to do my best in this lifetime to help this earth and universe as much as I possibly can. And those are the only problems I really want to be having. I don't want to be having arguments amongst my family members. I don't want to be talking about reality TV show and gossiping about my friends and their life choices. I don't want to be where I have lived my entire life and really only traveled a few times a year. Like, that is not who I want to be. And I feel like if I stayed on the track that I was going down, that is who I would be. I would fall into society's trap. I'd fall into... I would fall into the scared feeling that we all have felt, and that is money. <laughs> that is money. That is it. It's just money. That is the trap. And I will refuse to allow that to scare me. I will continue to chase after my goals and dreams that really aren't jobs, and pray that 
it makes something of itself. But that's just my choices right now, and I've never been happier. I've never been able to commute with. I've been. I've never been able to communicate with people as well as I communicate with them now. And there is nothing in this universe that I would ever trade for that, ever. Because being able to communicate with people without my ego attached, without my feelings attached, and just really hearing people for what they have to say, like, I, I just, I don't understand how I ever lived before, how I used to live in such a judgmental world, how I always, before I even, before the person was even done speaking, I already had an answer for what they said like 10 minutes ago because I wasn't really listening to them. And now I'm just able to be more of a wholesome person that really isn't necessarily out to speak because I don't really like to talk anymore. I like the world to speak to me because it knows more and has a different perspective than I ever will. And the more I talk, the less I can hear of other people's perspective and their stories and this and that. So yeah, that's just where I'm at. That is just like the most random tantrum I think I've ever done in my life. But that's always what my little vlogs turn out to be is just some sort of message I want to get across because I'm just, I'm so proud of myself. Like today I got in a pretty big confrontation with someone and I really stood my damn ground. I really put out my boundaries. I never allowed my anger to come out of me. I never said any foul words. I, I like, I'm so proud of myself because I did the things that I was always afraid to do because I was so afraid of the consequences. I was so afraid my world would end if I did so. I just really stayed true to myself and stayed true to what my desires and what my needs were. And if those weren't met, then I had to put myself in a situation where I can't be disappointed by another human being. And I just, I am so, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of myself. And it all worked out perfectly. There was communication that blossomed perfectly. There was boundaries that were reset and re-like negotiated and talked about. And it was just an all-around more healthy outlet than what it used to be prior. And it just, it's amazing to me. Like, this, this past week, I've been tested with confrontation. Just with, you know, anyone. Like, confrontation, you can't escape it. Like, there's not one week I think we all go by where there's, like, not something. And... Sometimes I was just like a little over dramatic and now I'm able to be like, whoa, chill out, Marissa. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's just my like a little, I don't know. But today, like these are the days that do this for me. They just bring me back to like that same person that I know I can be. The same person that can read books, hang out with my dogs be insightful as I can possibly be, be creative, just be the best version of myself and be so content with just that. And not the other Marissa who compares and is insecure and thinks she's never doing enough and blames herself for everything wrong in the world and just beats herself up all day. And that Marissa, I'm healing her and she's having quite some time dealing with the healing aspect of it because sometimes she wants to come out and I'm like, whoa, we already talked about this. You don't got to get your ego attached. You don't have to get upset. And then she just kind of like is begging to. And I'm like, no, little one, we are not doing this today. <laughs> and it's, it's, a, it's a struggle. It is a struggle, but so be it. So after this little speech I did for y'all, I'm going to meditate that's okay with you guys and I will see you all after actually you know what we're just gonna wrap it up today because I can tell today will already be semi of a long video so I'm just gonna actually wrap it up now because you know it's dark outside the lights in my house are yellow and they always make my videos look yellow so I'm just gonna cut it short today <laughs> So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope this video helped inform you guys when it comes to why exactly um, I am so constant with my little spiritual ritual things that I do and my crystals and all my... I, don't even, I haven't even named the title of this video yet, so I don't know what I'm trying to teach 
not teach you guys, but show you guys today, but these are my balances, I guess you can say. These are what keep me, bring me back to reality sometimes when I go off in my little crazy world of my mindset. These little things I do help bring me back to who I am and my roots and recenter me and clear my head and really allow me to think without my ego and allow me to just be the be best version of myself. And I owe these little rituals my life because they are truly saving me, meditating, grounding yourself, healing crystals, all that. It will change you. It will help you so much. It will help you grow. It will help you love harder. It will help you live with an open heart. And it will just all around... I don't have to preach that much about it. Once you start doing it, you will see the benefits as to why you should be doing this in your life. So, thank you again so much for watching. I give you all so, so much love. I am so thankful for you guys. You guys have no idea how much it means to me when you guys comment on my videos, when you guys let me know what you're thinking, and if you do little spiritual things that, you know, I am like tripping. Every time I turn, like, my head this way, it, like, looks like something's over there. And it's creeping me out because I'm here by myself right now. But have a good night. Have a good day. Have a, have a good whatever you're having at this very moment. Who knows what you're doing. I don't know. Whenever I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm, like, either in a car, just chilling. I'm in my room, about to fall asleep. Or I'm, like, in a waiting room, waiting for something. Like, that's... Have a happy whatever you're doing at this very moment and maybe get back to it. But but if this made you ask more questions, then some, watch some more videos because there's even more things that will make you question this reality you live in. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, I'm delusional. Good night to all.